got so much respect for what everybody does, every person in that building, you know, from equipment to training staff to, you know, the social media staff, everybody in that building, everybody in that organization, nobody was born on third base. They had to work their way to first, to second, to third. I want to celebrate, congratulate them for being at the highest level of football. Okay, now we're all here together. We're all, we're all on third base poised to bring this home together. The Chargers absolutely slayed the schedule release video, just like they do every single year now. The social media team is the best in sports, but this year it was a Sims themed video, which my sister is gonna love because she loves to play the Sims, but there are tons of hidden Easter eggs and jokes in this video. I'm gonna try and find them all. I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna watch it for the first time today because I was busy last night, but then tomorrow we're gonna have a video about Jim Harbaugh and like his expectations for the first year in LA. But today, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try to find all the Easter eggs in this video. And if you guys find any that I don't find, let me know in the comments. I'll try and, you know, get every single Easter egg that I can possibly find. Let's get into this full breakdown. All right, this is my first time watching it. So, let's see. Are these, uh, these are all the teams that we're playing, right? Every single team that we're gonna be playing. Who's that? Is that the Bucks? Yeah, I think this is every team that we're gonna be playing. They're all in the pool. We remove the ladder so now they can't get out. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Okay. We're off to a good start. Raiders in week one. Okay. And you make them a clown in the Charles Woodson jersey. I love it. Any Easter eggs back here though? Um. No, I, I can't tell any Easter eggs. Okay, now in week two. I don't think there were any Easter eggs in this week one. I just want to... Let me just go back make sure really quickly... I can't tell anything from these pictures. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, just Raiders fans are clowns living in the past with the Charles Woodson jersey. But then week two with the Panthers, that's a pretty good first two weeks. Hopefully two dubs. That's Cam Newton, I think. Going into the boxing ring. He's fighting. Oh, oh. The, okay, so there was a video of Cam Newton at like some charity event where these two teens were coming up to him. It was like two or three. It was like a group of teenagers that were just coming up to him and trying to fight him like out of nowhere at his own charity event. And he was wearing that crazy hat. I think that they were showing, yeah, right here. That's literally the hat that he was wearing. Keep pounding. I don't understand the arcade reference. Is that another reference that I'm not getting with the arcade? But yeah, Raiders and then Panthers. Is that Jerry Judy right there? <laughs> Raiders and Panthers in the first two weeks. That's going to be two easy dubs, hopefully. Is that another reference to something? The little bunny banner thing back there that I'm not understanding? Yeah, I don't know what that would be in reference to. Maybe it's not a reference. But let's see what week three. The Steelers. Okay, obviously, <laughs> this is George Pickens when he was watching himself get drafted. There was this really weird video of him wearing this mask while he was getting drafted by the Steelers. Uh, the bobbleheads? What? That has to be a reference to something. What is that in reference to? The bobbleheads right here? I can't really read that word at the top, but uh, let's keep going. Broncos country, let's move. And there's Russell Wilson coming in. We do not care. <laughs> we do not care. We do not care. And then the picture. Oh, my gosh. Russell Wilson going in, meeting George Pickens, and then Justin Fields. <laughs> this is good, bro. This is so good. They did such a great job on this. Oh, Chiefs in week four. This is the Kelsey podcast. Obviously, Jason Kelsey here, Travis Kelsey. Look at the difference in the background, bro. This one's like so rustic. And then Travis Kelsey over here, he's got all the pictures of, <laughs> uh, what's her name? Taylor Swift. I'm going to get hate because I just forgot her name for half a second. I gave a squirrel a piece of bread and it straight up smashed all of it. I had no idea they ate bread like that. Haha, <laughs> crazy. This is funny. There's Taylor, obviously getting up. He's got his priorities. And getting to the private jet. Oh my gosh. Now they're going to get hate from all the Swifty fans that are crazy because Taylor Swift, we all know, she burns a lot of jet fuel. So we have a pretty easy schedule to start out with. And then the Steelers is going to be the first kind of test. And then the Chiefs in week four, this is going to be the first like real test for Jim Harbaugh. And then week five is the bye week. That's such an early bye week, man. Okay, but then obviously Justin Herbert playing golf during the bye, making some brisket in his Oregon little jumper right there. Obviously in Oregon, fishing. Beautiful house in the background. There's that barbecue. Justin Herbert living life on the bye week. Ball Mart playing the Broncos in week six. Okay, who are these guys? Jerry Judy, Justin Simmons. Uh, Who's that walking out? 
well, who's that in reference to walking out? Obviously the jersey sales, because that's uh, Sean Payton trying to sell everybody. Jerry, Judy, Justin Simmons. I think that's Russell Wilson. No sunglasses and no something down there. What is that? Taking all these players away, ruining the cap space. There's that little Bronco like trophy or something. Yeah, that's... Oh, Cardinals in week seven on Monday Night Football. Josh Rosen is the guy. Here comes the <laughs> Grim Reaper dude and then Kyler Murray next. A lot of Cardinals fans are not going to like that one, especially that combined with the Pop-Tart meme that they tweeted out where he was like the mini strawberry Pop-Tart. Yeah, Cardinals fans are not going to be liking the Chargers anytime soon. But this is a good game. Monday Night Football, there's a lot of pretty good games early on. The, the schedule is pretty easy. Only thing I don't like so far is that early bye week. But now this, this is a great freeze frame right here. We're in New Orleans in Mardi Gras. And Saints in Week 8. Was that? That was Angel Reese, right? The basketball player. The women's basketball player in the WNBA. There's Zion Johnson, obviously. Oh, they did Zion so dirty. I don't know what that is, though. The Bounty Gate, Minneapolis Miracle. No PI call with the Rams in the playoffs. Kevin James as Sean Payton in that movie on Netflix, bro. <laughs> These are terrible choices for the Saints. Oh, and then the Browns in Week 9. Bro, this schedule is actually, like, really easy. Factory of Sadness. Oh, and then down here on the bottom right, at least we're not Detroit. Bro, hey, the Lions nowadays, they're actually a lot better than the Browns. But I, Browns, but they have a good team. They just don't have a quarterback. But yeah, Browns in week nine. Uh, all the elves here trying to get their quarterback. Brandon Whedon, Josh McCown, Tim Couch. These guys didn't work. Baker Mayfield back here. Uh, there's LeBron winning the championship. That's the best thing Cleveland has ever had. And then we just lost to some elves. Who said that? Oh, who said that? Oh, uh, it was Jamar Chase who said that, right? The Bengals wide receiver when they lost to the uh, Browns, like two years ago, something like that. Yeah. And then, okay. So these are, they're elves and they're trying to make their quarterback just like Santa's workshop. 2017 winless season. Bro, I'm picking up on a lot of Easter eggs here. I'm doing pretty good. There's the bus for the Titans in week 10. Okay, I, oh, what is the bus in reference to? I know that's something, I'm not getting it right now. Ah, uh, what is this? The two cops right here with the chair. Is that Mike Vrabel up there or is, dude, that's Morgan Wallen because he was on a balcony and he threw a chair down at some officers in Tennessee. He, he's a country music star. I don't know if you guys know him. I actually like his music, but that dude's kind of crazy. Lightning McQueen, the pirates from the, I, I can't read that. Baltimore Orioles, 49ers, 69ers, Stars. Oh, this is in reference to the Titans schedule release video. I think that was also like two years ago. They were asking people on the streets of Nashville to name these teams, and they just named... No, you know what? It must have been last year because that's when the Chargers played the Titans. But yeah, this is what some lady said all of these teams were. And then Repo Man is coming to claim your last remaining asset, and that's Derrick Henry. Yep. Facts. 7-Eleven, Bengals in week 11 at the 7-Eleven. Ooh, rhyming accidentally. Always open, that was Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase is the cashier and he's always open. There's Joe Burrow. I think this is Joe Burrow as well. Walking out to Kentucky. What is that? What is that in reference to? That's gotta be something that I'm not picking up on. It's like a little shop of horrors. The Ravens on Monday Night Football in week 12. Lamar Jackson tweets Johnny? Oh, okay. I don't understand that. What is that too? But obviously John Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh. There's going to be a lot right here. Okay. Jim Harbaugh's words to live by. Bro, I can't read this. Uh, the Rockford Files. We all know he loves that movie. He even said it in a couple interviews. There's that Chargers poster, the Chargers bed frame and pillow. The vision board with the RV in the background. Bro, this is beautiful. We got the little teddy bear on the bottom right. There's that teddy bear. He's jumping up and down with Jim Harbaugh, or John Harbaugh, I mean. He's got the Lamar Jackson floor mat. Bro, this was before Lamar Jackson was even born. How did he... Did Is this insinuating that John Harbaugh created Lamar Jackson out of a figment of his own imagination when he was like 10 years old? Do they know something I don't? Week 13, Falcons. This is... Is this Kirk Cousins? Playing in the club in Atlanta, obviously. Lots of clubs in Atlanta. 
who the f did i marry that was a tiktok meme oh my i can't believe i actually picked up on that there's this lady who married someone and uh it was like some crazy person and she made like a hundred freaking videos on tiktok oh lou lou williams the lemon pepper chicken wings right yeah and then i can't read this bajan oh bajan robinson like the bajan mustard that's a good one and i am assuming these guys are migos sitting at that club there's uh michael Penix jr yep that's a washington uniform going into the club finally and then what do we have over here oh <laughs> Oh yeah, the OnlyFans because they their uh, team tweeted something about oh, something really weird about OnlyFans. I, I forgot exactly what it was, but I'll pull it up in reference. And then twenty eight to three, doing the Falcons fans dirty here. I think this is Matt Ryan and then uh, probably Michael Vick from a long time ago. The schedule's pretty easy so far though, honestly. And I think that was Kirk Cousins. The Chiefs in Week fourteen on Sunday Night Football. Okay. We got Mama Kelsey back here. Uh, looks like the asparagus, man. There's Patrick Mahomes. We're in court for some reason. Oh, this is the guy who would go to the Chiefs games and he ended up being like an actual bank robber. He went to the Chiefs games in the mask and stuff. That's why he's looking like a furry right here. And he was like literally convicted as a bank robber. There's uh, Pat McAfee. That's who it is. The Pat McAfee court. There's the Stanley Cup, the NBA championship. I, I think that's the Lombardi trophy too. There's AJ Hawk right there. Bro, the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football in week 14. Now we got the Bucks, Baker Mayfield, duh. That's a good one. He's cooking. It's gonna be on fire. Yep. And there's what is this? Who is that? This is Tampa Bay? That's Antonio Brown when he took off his uniform and just like threw it into the crowd and left. And he never played again for the Bucks. Yeah, that's when he was like literally going crazy. And then obviously Baker Mayfield cooking up a storm right there. Now the Broncos in week 16. There's uh, Nikola Jokic right there. Wishing on something. You want more cap space? Did you mean dead cap? <laughs> Patriots in week 17. The Foxborough retirement home. Bro, Paul Pierce right there. Getting some outdoor time in the wheelchair. This is great. Oh, there's so much in this. Okay. Uh, is that Bill Belichick? And then we got Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, the Goodwill Hunting poster because that they were in Boston. Play nice. Uh, Stretch Daily, Inside Voices. That's PSI. Th those are the house rules. Then we got some painters over here. Tom Brady's painting. I don't know who this is. Who is this guy? Oh, and then over here, we have the picture of Bill Belichick's dog in the 2020 draft when they were doing the like Zoom of all the general managers. That's Bill Belichick's dog. I don't know who that is though. Who is this? Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman need to get back in their wheelchairs right there before they pull a hammy. Who is he painting? And then I think that's Rob Kraft who's painting a lot less of what Tom Brady is doing. So that's, you know. Your dynasty has ended, but the town lives on. There's no reason to let this house stay empty. Would you like to restart? And then the Raiders in week 18. So we don't have a lot of primetime games. 7 to 63. Oh, God. There's a QR code. Okay, I'm going to see what that QR code is a little later. The Raiders fans are all clowns, of course. Austin Eckler, he got a first down and then they're all upset, I think is the joke there. There's the Vegas uh, sphere in the background behind. There it is. You can see it. Where are we going? Oh, Tom Telesco. Family, trust, respect. Count Deputy of Sheriff Tom Telesco. I think that's what that says. But yeah, now he's got them in jail and he's walking the premises. Oh, boy. Throwing some shade here. There's Joe Hortiz. There's Jim Harbaugh, Joey Bosa, Justin Herbert. Uh, then we got some other guys. There's Alohi Gilman, obviously. I think that's Derwin James. Okay, so I scanned the QR code on my phone. And it took me to the World's Clown Association. So yeah, Raiders fans, I, they don't need that QR code because they already signed up for that. They're Raiders fans. But that's a great disc, man. I love it. They did such a great job on this, man. I want to shout out to Ali, Hannah, and uh, David. 
Bailey, Megan, everyone in the Chargers social media team, bro, this was such an awesome video. I'm sure I did not even pick up on every single reference there, but there were so many. I kept pausing the video because I kept identifying little things, but I'm sure I missed so many. Like I know the bus thing in, in the Tennessee one was something, and I'm pretty sure I got that one right with the Morgan Wallen throwing that chair at the police officers, but maybe that's just some other thing. Like with Mike Rabel, there has to be something with Mike Rabel there. Maybe that's with the buses. I don't recall exactly, but yeah. If you found something in there that was an Easter egg, let me know. And uh, bro, that was that was an awesome video. And also, if you did not see my video yesterday, I made a full video about the undrafted free agent that everyone is excited about. 